السلام علیکم سٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ اباؤٹ دا وومین رائٹس آر آبجیکٹوس وین وومین گوٹ دیئر رائٹس ان برٹش ہو آر سفریج کمپین آف وومین ٹو گیٹ دیئر رائٹس وومین ان دا اسٹرگل آف فار فریڈم آف پاکستان اینڈ وومین رائٹس پرسکرائب بائی اسلام So what is suffrage? The right to vote. During the 18th century, many Europeans came to believe that they had a natural right to rule themselves and to choose their own leaders. As a result, men in England were given the right to vote, a right that sometimes called suffrage. However, women were not given the same right. Why? Because At that time, only men think that they can rule the world. So at that time, the key people of suffrage movement were Emmeline Pankhurst, Christabel Pankhurst, and Sylvia Pankhurst. Emmeline, as she grew older, noticed that women were treated differently to men. In 1903, she, along with her daughter, Sylvia and Christabel, founded the Women's Social and Political Union. And their aim was the getting equal voting rights for women. Members were known to smash widows, damage public property, and even start fires. This got many women in trouble with the police and some even sentenced to t- in prison where they were treated very badly. When the stories of bad treatment reached the newspaper, it actually helped to increase support for the suffrage movement. This is the picture you can see about the movement. Women's Women During the First World War. Emmeline Pankhurst encouraged members to put their demonstrations on hold in order to focus on the war effort. In response, the government released all women prisoners. Now, in the same way, before the independence, the women of the subcontinent also struggled for the creation of Pakistan. Biyama, Begum Muhammad Ali Johar, dressed in burqa, was the only woman of all the All India Muslim League Working Committee. She was also the first Muslim woman to address the public meetings. Fatma Jinnah, she was the closest associate and advisor to her brother Muhammad Ali Jinnah. She emerged as a strong advocate of the two nation theory and a leading member of All India Muslim League. Efforts to ensure that women all around the world are treated equally with men continue and it is one of the Uni- United Nations Millennium Development Goals. That's all for today. Thank you.